while I'm over here, I'm going to meet someone for a cuppa and I'm very late. I don't like to be late and I'm actually 22 years late. I was doing a season of stand-up in London in 1990 and I had a letter from Morrissey inviting me for a cup of tea. Anyway, I couldn't go. To make amends, I've brought him a tea cosy knitted by my friend Nora. I've seen Morrissey on a documentary having tea with Nancy Sinatra and he has a plain white teapot. It's a black and white tea cosy, so it's going to look great. Oh. Is this your own teapot? This is mine. This <coughs> travels with me. I bought it in Rome, but it's Parisian. <laughs> What sort of tea is this that we're drinking? We are drinking salon tea. Yeah. And it's very weak. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the bag skims the surface of the water the and is removed. The bag, yes. I mean, I know you're a caddy person. But, I was um, hoping you might come out of the caddy. Yeah, but some of us don't remember World War II. <laughs> I, I, I am, though, a teaaholic. Yeah. Even though I don't have very strong tea. How often? What, uh, what time do you kick uh, off with it? Well, as soon as I wake up, I must have tea. Mm. I think one day, because I've never had coffee, you see, but one, day, one day I decided to try to have a complete day without tea. And I was, I was quite shaken. I was quite disturbed. Mm. Yeah. But it's interesting, we just went to see this, we went to this tea shop, Tea and Sympathy, where the, the whole point of it is to, is to encapsulate Britishness. Mm. And people go and think they're having a British experience. But actually, if you went to Britain, mm. there wouldn't be a tea shop like that. No, but th th there was once. Yes. There was once, and, yeah. and it was a very British thing. Mm. And it was a very stoic thing, and it, it was the solution to everything. And it would uh, calm you down, a yes. nice cup of calm tea. You down, I mean, nobody ever up. said, I'll make you a horrible cup of tea. <laughs> it was always, I'll make you a nice cup yes. of tea. I mean, why yeah. did it have to be nice? Why does it make you a really raunchy cup of tea? <laughs> So uh, I think it was uh, very British and part of the British resolve and the reason why Hitler really couldn't get us was because of tea and nothing else. And I know, but that's so strange, isn't it, when you think it's just a hot, it's just a hot drink. And it, but why it no, why really. not cocoa? Why not coffee? Why not cocoa? There's bound to be a reason. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm, going to, I'm going to give you something, but you don't have to have it. Please Shall don't just... say it's a tea caddy. It's not a tea cad. Does it look like a, a tea cad? A cosy, a tea cad. Oh, no, yes, yeah, it was. It's Forget tea. it. It doesn't matter. I I'm know. not going to give it you now. It's all right. It doesn't matter. Cut. I knew it was a tea cosy. Come on, let's see no, it now. No, no, we don't, I don't want, want to waste to. further film. No, because it's not going to match a teapot. I don't care what you say about it now. This is a beanie hat. It's got holes for the spout. This is what the skateboarding kids wear. Reduced to clear, made in Morecambe. <laughs> Just give it me back. I'll give it back to Nora. No, I, I, I will keep it and I shall cherish it because it's... I don't want you to... Go no, I say I'm going to use it. I just no. I'm going to keep it. OK. In a bottom drawer. In a bottom drawer. In when you get married. Okay. When nobody goes. Yeah, all right. So yeah. thank you You're for, welcome. for your generosity. <laughs> you know what? I love Morrissey. And he has a point about Hitler and the British and tea. All those things that made us seem rather dull before the war, our love of routine, our reluctance to engage in hysterics, 